Hello and welcome my ladies and gentlemen in another video about uh, Warframe Today's video is gonna be about Savagoth You got him yesterday from the game awards or you just uh, farm him Either way, we're going to make an amazing powerful broken build for him And I will explain his ability in a very 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 simple way That will make this complicated frame so easy for you that you maybe consider uh, a, like um, maining him Alright, let's get going and as always, uh, we're taking a friendly approach uh, for the new players, explaining to them uh, the Sova Golf Kit, uh, his ability, his passive, how to play, everything you need to know in a very simple way that everybody understands. Uh, Alright, uh, passive. On death, become Sova Golf Shadow and fight to resurrect him by collecting the souls needed to rebuild his tombstone. So when he dies, he doesn't actually die, he hangs out between life and death in a tomb, oh, like the mummy. Alright? In case you visit, visit the pyramids, okay? So, a shadow will come out, and he will fight nearby enemies, collecting stone, collecting souls, trying to revive you. Of course, you're going to be playing this, the, the shadow, okay? And you're going to have one ability called the consume, okay? Everybody hates this because many players fail to kill when they are in the shadow form and so on. So, yeah. We don't like this passive. Let's move on to the first ability. And for the first ability, and uh, probably one of the most complicated ones, but focus. All right, let's go. Savago's shadow flies outward, ravaging enemies in his path. Survivors are damaged by death's harvest over time. The souls of the dead fill the death well. There is four things you need to learn about this ability. One, sending a shadow. This is what means sending a shadow. Boom, I try to make this as easy as possible, guys. I promise. All right, boom. Sending a shadow. Easy. Okay. Now, the second thing you need to learn is Death's Harvest. You see, they say damaged by Death Harvest. They didn't say statue or effect or whatever. They say damaged by Death's Harvest. Because that shadow you're sending, he's going to use an ability called Death Harvest. That will make sense, guys, in later. Okay, don't worry. It will make sense. Okay, just focus with me now. The shadow will cast an ability called Death Harvest. What this ability does, okay, it will make enemies more vulnerable to damage. Okay, more vulnerable to what? To damage, yes. It will increase when ability strength later on. Okay? That's why you're seeing that 148%. Okay, so, send the shadow. Enemies hit by that shadow death harvest ability. They will be more vulnerable to damage. Okay, now, the third thing you need to learn is the dead will feel the death well. What is the death well exactly? The death well is this. It's this bar. You see this bar right here on top of my ammo? This is it. This th That's called the death bar. So when you kill enemies that's affected by dark harvest, death harvest, sorry, death harvest, okay, you will start feeling that bar. It will make a sense in a second, okay? Everything is connected. Okay, now the fourth thing you need to learn, this ability have an augment, okay? This augment, very simple and very, very simple. What it does is... Those enemies who are affected by the death harvest will give you 50% critical chance. And if they die, they will summon to, uh, maximum like three shadows. Okay? Simple as that. And you can increase the critical chance from the augment with ability strength. And I will show you the augment in a second in the build. Don't worry, guys. Okay? So, you get it. Reap, what it does? Send the shadow. That shadow casts an ability called death harvest, making enemies more vulnerable to damage. And any enemies that... Hit by Death Harvest will increase your critical chance. And if they die, they will summon more shadows. And killing them in all this case, like in all the whole thing, will fill your death well. Okay? Simple as that. Okay. Now, so, which is the second ability. Plant a death seed in nearby targets to drain their life force. Reap what has been uh, sown to detonate afflicted enemies dealing a percent of their health as radial damage the soul of the dead feels the death well you see the death well again so let me explain this one this one is you're going to cast so that so will put seeds same thing the ability said like gonna seed those enemies and if you hit them with the first ability which is the shadow it's gonna detonate okay doing the true damage and blast uh, damage to them Called, they call it radial damage. Okay? Let's go. Now, and it actually will killing enemies while they're affected by so will feel your death well. That bar I showed you. Okay? Let's go. Gloom. Summon a radial pulse. The wave that ens uh, ensnares and slow enemies, uh, siphoning their life force uh, for, uh, for the death well, allies within the wave, uh, the weave, the wave still health uh, with each attack. 
So what this does exactly, you're going to create an area. That area expand based on your ability duration and the range is affected by ability to range. Okay, you get the idea. It's a bit complicated, I understand. So when you have, you, you don't want to have so much range, okay? Because when you have so much range, the ability will go so far, okay? Let's say you have 500 range and 500 duration. The ability will start like this. Doesn't matter how much you have. It will start like this and will expand to the 500. You get the idea? It, does, it doesn't go like, okay, 500. You cast it, it's 500. No, it's not. It's going to start like 1 meter, 2 meter, 3 meter, 4 meter, 5 meter, 6 meter. This it is. That's why it's a 4, 16 meter down there in the range. Okay? Exactly. And it's a range increase 3.1 meter per second. You get the idea. So the range increase is affected by duration. So the longer duration you are, the range going. Okay? And the range is affected by your ability range. So let's say you have so much range but low duration, you will not reach the range. You get the you get the idea you, okay so now we have the uh energy enemy per drain okay so when you cast this ability it's gonna cost you 77 energy but every enemy affected on this ability he will consume energy from you okay per second so you need to know this modding this for so big range is bad because many players have been whispering me hank uh, why my gloom uh, like uh, i drain so much because you're not killing those enemies. You are pouring it like so big that the whole map is taking your energy of enemies you don't even see. That's why. So you need to keep it in a lovely range. Okay? Lovely range that you, you see those enemies so you can kill them so they don't consume any more uh, energy from you. Very simple. Make it small and nice. Kill those enemies affected by it. And that's it. You don't need, to ki you don't need uh, some enemy behind the wall taking energy from you and you don't kill it for the whole run. Okay, this is not stand still and uh, wait uh, for someone to save you. And of course, it's gonna slow enemy maximum 95% and gonna give you life steal. Now we reach the point where is the exalted shadow, baby. And don't uh, like get uh, confused now. Okay, when death well fills, remember that bar I showed you. When it gets filled, now you can summon a shadow. Okay, now you can summon a shadow. Now let's go to the shadow. Boom, 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 boom. Yes, the shadow. I think the Savagoth uh, is the only exalted uh, frame that he have an exalted form, an exalted weapon. That's how, the way I can put it, alright? And you can mod the exalted uh, shadow and the exalted, uh, the exalted weapon uh, separated. And for the shadow build, uh, here we go. Alright, so we're going to be using swift momentum for heavy attack as this is going to be a heavy attack close. The preparation to get a maximum energy field on spawn so you can use the harvest and all the and abilities. Transfortitude, rolling guard, ogre reach, intensify, flow, stretch, adaptation, and continuity. And stretch is here to actually make the first ability pull more in distance. Okay, for example, the Embrace is going to give you 35 meter range to pull those enemies. This ability by default have a very nice range to it, but I figure that adding like 175% range will make it even better. All right, we're going to throw Arcane Energize here and Arcane Strike. You don't want to run out of energy while you are in the Savagoth Shadows. Enemies will be slowed with Gloom. And this is the Shadow Claw uh, build, baby. All right, we're going to focus on the Slash. We have the Revenous Wraith, uh, Primate Pressure Point, Primate Smite uh, Corrupted, uh, Sacrificial Steel, Primate Reach. This uh, close suffers a lot from range, so having Primate Reach is a must. Primate Fury for attack speed, Organ Shatter, uh, Killing Blow, and Spoiled Strike. Now, you can use Gladiator Might in uh, other ways, but not on the on the shadow close directly. You can't use acolyte uh, mods like, for example, let's say the blood rush and so on. And you can't uh, use the amalgam uh, mods as well. Okay, so this is the build we're going uh, for. Uh, all right, the ability of the shadow. All right, so you have embrace. Make it simple for you. You're gonna pull enemies at 80 by 80 degrees. Okay, you're going to pull enemies. Those enemies are pulled. They're going to be lifted in the air. Simple. Moving next. Consume. Dash through enemies and rip their soul to heal the shadow. Heal yourself and get life steal. Simple. Now, the third ability is Death Harvest. Ba -ba! Remember? I told you earlier it will make sense. It makes sense, right? So, this is the shadow. When you use the first ability in Savagoth, he will be casting the Death Harvest. Okay? Easy. So, inflict nearby enemies with a harrowing condition. And... 
you will make them vulnerable for more damage, baby. Okay, so you're going to say, Hank, why this is 114% and the other one was 148? Because I mod them differently. Okay, because in Savagoth, I have more strength. Okay, and in this one, I have a balanced range and strength for the first ability. It will all make sense in a second. Reunite. Reunite is going back to Savagoth. Simple. The fourth, listen, forget about the fourth ability. The fourth ability, if you are in Savagoth, you're going to Shadow when the well is uh, full. And if you are in the Shadow, you're going to go back to Savagoth. Simple as that. But there is a trick here. You can actually fill the well when you are in Savagoth. Okay? Simple as that. And this is the claw. It doesn't have the abilities. And so on. All right. Starting, first thing first, showing his kit. Here we go. All right. <clears throat> Starting. Okay. Ability as you know, sending the shadow. You see that wires coming out or tentacle. I don't know. You see how the shadow like hovering over them. Look at this. Okay. And don't worry, don't worry about the enemies being grabbed. It's heli uh, It's uh, my uh, Nautilus. I will show you that the build in a second. You see? That's the death harvest effect. Boom. Okay? So that means those enemies are vulnerable to more damage. Simple? Simple. Okay. Now, second ability, a third, a second ability is stow. Okay? I see that those enemies, as you can see, they are getting a damage per uh, second. There you go. Boom, 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 boom. There you go. Now, seeded enemies going to be detonated if I cast the first ability. So, second ability on them, like seeding them, and then casting the first, boom, you see that? Boom. 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 As much they are affected with seed, I can uh, detonate them with the first uh, ability. Okay? Now, moving to Gloom. You see how it started? Uh, look, look at this Gloom, how it starts. You see? Look. Boom, it starts and then expands, 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 expands. It depends how much duration you have and range. There you go. You see that? And the gloom move with you, baby. Alright, so it moves with you. It's not uh, something you cast and it will be there, okay? This is not a cataclysm, alright? Or the rift, okay? Here you go. Now, to fill the uh, death well the the bar that i showed you it's already half all right just by casting some abilities what you want to do is cast the first ability and just kill some enemies okay boom 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 there we go ta -ta 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 -ta. no problemo and don't worry about the red crits is because uh, you already know from the augment i told you about okay that's why we're having high uh, red uh, crits and i'm gonna show you the okokor build in a second okay now now we all know what Savagoth ability does? First, send the shadow. Second, stow enemies with the... Uh, like, you, you're going to seed them. Now, third ability is going to be Gloom. Fourth ability now is the shadow. Now, remember, when you cast the Gloom on Savagoth, when you go to the shadow, fourth ability, here you go. I am in the shadow. Here is Savagoth. Savagoth will become untargetable. Like, you, you can't target Savagoth anymore. And Gloom will be active, baby. You see, Gloom will stay active to help your shadow. All right. First ability of the shadow is pulling enemies, like I mentioned. There you go, pulling those enemies in, okay? Second ability, if I don't like the second ability because it pushes enemies so far. You see that guy where he go? Look at this. Look at that. It throw him to the next uh, universe, all right? We don't want that, okay? Now, the third ability is the death harvest. You see, they have the same effect, baby, you see? Boom, they have the same effect, so I mean they are vulnerable to more damage. And now we're going to be using the Claw. Boom. The Claw, it, when you do heavy attack, it will do slash damage, baby. And the slash damage of this ability, of this Claw is insane. And I build it for heavy attack. It does thousands of damage. Like sometimes it's even proc millions. Okay? Simple as that. Simple as that. All right. So now, you know, Savagoth Kit and exactly what it is. Now let's move to the real deal. All right, starting with the Archon Shards that we're gonna be using today. All right, so I'm gonna be using two casting speed. Of course, you can use them Tau Forged if you have. Two casting st st speed, that's 50%, so I win one mod that's called Natural Talent for casting speed because all his abilities are affected by the Natural Talent. Casting speed, okay? So, Crimson Shard for ability strength, strength, is highly recommended for this guy. Really, 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 you need a lot of strength. Okay. Now, going with the first build, I prepared for you guys uh, a lot of builds here, as you can see. Th six builds, 
and I'm gonna go through them one by one. All right. So pure pure build is let's say you want to play Savagoth without any helmet ability. You want to use his kit and you just want to enjoy it and you can go so high end game with this build without any problem now the downside of using savagoth full kit is the shadow now the shadow as you know he is very weakish shadow he will die most of the time and he's very hard to keep alive he does a lot of damage with his clothes don't misunderstand me it's good for normal levels and so on you can take him to level cap for example uh, disruption but i don't think he will survive uh, survival solo using only the shadow i'm talking about you can just you know use gloom okay you can use gloom and ignore the shadow and you're gonna do level cap no problem but i'm saying like you're using all the time the shadow like you're relying only on the shadow it will cause you to die it will cause a lot of death okay so that's why i don't like it that doesn't mean you can't survive you can but it requires a lot of attention a lot of focus in the game a lot of an understanding of shield gating and whatever 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 okay that's why I don't like using the shadow build. That's why I'm going to show you the other builds in a second. Okay, so brief respite on ability cast. The quad converts 150% of energy spent to shields while overshield are inactive. You can change this one, whatever you want. Don't use corrosive projection, please. You can armor strip with your Nairo if you're really uh, desperate to do uh, to do so, or you can helmet uh, here something to uh, armor strip like. I'm going to show you in a, uh, in a second, okay? You can go for the uh, growing power. You can go for uh, your pistol amp, because we're going to be using our Okokur. Uh, you can go for shotgun, steel charge, uh, up to you, uh, whatever you uh, want uh, to use, okay? Totally up to you. You can use it even, uh, what, what's called, you can use swift momentum and so on. All right, prime sure footed so you don't get knocked down. Rolling guard to cleanse any negative effect that you have primate continue duration flow for my energy max intensify for strength blind rage for strength and minus ability efficiency don't worry about the efficiency it's going to be fixed with energize all right and you're going to be doing really really uh good with this amount of efficiency you don't need like uh 100 efficiency you don't need it at all all right ogre seeker because you're not going to be spamming uh, technically okay ogre seeker uh is going to be give you a bit of strength shadow haze is the augment reap augment increase kitko chance by 50 percent as a base increases with a bit of strength on enemies inflicted with death harvest a new shadow emerges from those enemies when they perish limit of three shadows like i explained you earlier okay perfect now moving to the helmet uh style now i'm gonna keep the best for the last so i'm gonna move to the third one right here here what i just did is i removed his shadow and i put resonator in there now you would say oh hank wait a second i mean gloom is slowing enemies 95 percent why the heck would you need the uh, why the heck would you need a uh, resonator the idea of this is very simple so what i wanted to do with this let me unpause those enemies okay boom 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 what i wanted to do with this uh enemies exactly i wanted to like make them busy on the resonator even they're in gloom if you pay attention look at them they are not even looking towards me they are chasing the resonator even they are on gloom you see that so i will have enough time to cast my shadow to cast my stow and to actually kill them the way i desire look at that you can use your glaive you can use whatever you uh want okay simple as uh, that that's the whole uh, that's the whole idea uh behind resonator resonator think about it as for uh, players who are very slow in the gameplay and they like to secure themselves like they they don't want to die right that's how you do it so slowing enemies and distracting them with resonator you're gonna be fine if you want to reach the 95 all you have to do is switch precision to um the malt augment there you go Mold augment for more ability strength okay now moving to Sava pillage Sava pillage is relying removing the second ability which is two which the ones that uh seeding uh, enemies we can take it away no problem so here is the here is the thing i learned when i playing savagoth so if you want to help with him you have two choices either to sacrifice the shadow gameplay or to sacrifice stow okay so 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 whatever you can call it okay so that's totally up to you it, for me i think sacrificing the shadow is good and awesome 
I will show you in a second why and you'll see it by your own eye. Okay, you don't want to go to Shadow, trust me. But, but it is what it is. If you like the Shadow gameplay, I already provided you guys with more uh, than enough uh, to actually build them for the Shadow. So, Pillage, what is the job exactly here? Let me show you. Alright, here you go. Same thing, same stuff. Activating your uh, Gloom all the time. And then using the second ability, which is Pillage... All right, and getting those over amazing shields when they bypass certain points is going to be the uh, highest shield gating. So we don't use catalyzing shields. Uh, more than that, it's not going to be utilized in the uh, call it uh, the shield gating. Okay, because it has a certain uh, limit to it. Simple, simple. You're gonna hit them with the shadow as always, and boom, pillage. And now remember, when you go to your shadow, it will not be uh, you will not have pillage uh, there. All right, you will not have that. Okay, there you go, and you just kill those enemies. Simple as that. Alright, now, moving to the uh, next build. Moving to the Savatari Iron Strength. Now, this one is a bit tricky, okay? Because we're going to be using the Terrify, and this one will give you armor reduction 100%. Yet, we're keeping the Shadow. So, this is more advanced gameplay, alright? So, look, armor stripped. Okay, now let's say let's say I fill up the shadow. All right, let me let me fill up the shadow. Look at this! Boom, 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 boom. Enemies dead, 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 and dead. Okay, so here is the idea here. Now let's say these are group of enemy. Okay, and you have gloom active already. Yes. Okay, and now I'm gonna armor strip them, and then I'm gonna move to the shadow. They are armor stripped, right? I'm gonna pull them in, cast this, kill them, because they are armor stripped. And I filled already my well. So I go back. Armor strip. Go back to my shadow. Okay. Do whatever I want. Okay. Go back here. Armor strip. Go back to my shadow. Armor strip. Go back to my shadow. It's really complicated gameplay. But the, the more you play it. The more you'll understand it. And you get a hold of it. So the idea is. Moving between your shadow. And your uh, warframe constantly. With armor stripping uh, enemies while using a uh, Savagoth. Very powerful and very deadly uh, build. Especially if you're trying to reach a uh, level cap. Alright. Sava Shadow Buff. Alright. This uh, Sava Shadow Buff. What, is what it does exactly. It's actually buffing the damage of your shadow. Okay. So you see how many builds uh, I prepared for you guys. Okay. So in case you don't know. Most, like, let's say 99% of the uh, Helmet abilities doesn't affect the Shadow. But this one, the uh, Eclipse, does, actually. So, let me show... Let, let's actually uh, fill the um, uh, the Death Well. So, we can summon our uh, Shadow. Boom, 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 boom. There you go. Same thing. Cast the first ability and then kill those enemies. You're gonna start feeling the Death uh, Well. Alright. Boom, 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 boom. There we go. The more we kill, the better it gets. Uh, let me summon enemies again. To practice on them. Alright, here we go. Now, I'm gonna cast my uh, Eclipse. Boom. Okay, 410% damage. Correct? Okay. Now, going to the Shadow. As you can see, 410. Pulling those enemies in. All the way. Casting the third ability. And boom. See that? 3,800 slash... That's, that's how deadly it really uh, gets. Now, the downside of this build, it's really tricky and make you, uh, like, pay attention to Eclipse and so on. And for that, you will need to use Total Eclipse so you can buff your Shadow, okay? Shadow is coded in this game as uh, an ally, okay? It's coded as an ally, as a Spectre. I don't know what, what exactly coded for, but it is what it is. So, there you go. Total Eclipse. And you can remove Arcane Precision and you can use uh, Fury... Okay, or you can use a uh, strike so you can actually have your attack faster. All right, now moving to my favorite, favorite, favorite build, the best for the last, uh, which is Savanurisha, removing the fourth uh, ability. Okay, as you can see here, same stuff, same here, same there. All right, there you go, Nourish. Now, for the aura, you can always change things up, you can go for pistol amp. Alright, you can go for whatever you desire. That's totally uh, up to you. I will keep it for pistol amp just for you uh, to see. I'm going to be using arcane precision. And where we're going to go, we're going to go to uh, steel path. But before that, let me show you actually what this does like. 
the other builds okay very simple check this out all right so gloom as always active shadow stow nourish check this out look at this boom 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 it may not look fantasy now for you but wait for it when we reach the steel path you'll see how powerful this is now in case you don't know what nourish is nourish is will do a uh, viral damage to enemies it does a cc damage to enemies and actually it will give you a uh, health uh, and it will give you explosion damage uh, and uh, also will give you damage increase and it's really really uh, powerful i think it's like one of the best helmet uh, abilities and combine it with one of the best helmet abilities gloom you become very deadly i think it's better than using the shadow let's hop into steel path all right here we are on steel path as always gloom should be active and nourish active and now you need to remember the good thing about our nourish is doesn't have a lot of uh range that means we are in control here baby all right so we are in control killing enemies within our uh gloom so it doesn't drain us unnecessary uh energy as you can see you're gonna be moving around any enemy that affected by your gloom will be slowed so badly that they will not be able even to move look at that casting your th first ability all the time to activate the death harvest to make your, uh, those enemies more vulnerable to your uh, damage casting the second ability from time to time when you want to actually seed those enemies but we're not going to be uh, standing still as you can see all you have to do move around all right thanks to okukur uh, augment uh, will actually help you out with uh, uh, the ammo don't worry, I will show you my Okokur build in a second, baby. No problemo. Look at that. Red crits. You're going to be alive. No problem. And don't worry about that shield gating and stuff. You're going to be uh, just uh, fine. All right. There you go. Look at this. How, like, how easy the game uh, gets when you just do the right things and when you just combine two of the so powerful uh, Helmuth abilities uh, in the game. It's, it's really like one of the two uh, most powerful Helmuth abilities in the game. Uh, when you combine uh, like a very deadly um, nourish with gloom, that's exactly uh, what uh, happened. All right, look at that. Boom, easy breezy. Now remember, uh, because we are in control of our uh, gloom, okay, standing in areas that's so open. For example, if I am here, right. If I'm standing just right here, and enemies from there will be... Look, this guy, you see? You see, they start to shoot. Now, the moment I get close to them, they get slowed down, all right? So, remember, standing in a big area with open space is not ideal, okay? And now, standing in an area where you can't see enemies affected by your groom is not ideal as well. So, standing in a place where you can like see your gloom who it's slowing and paying attention to the mini map where is those enemies and go to kill them otherwise lower the range on your uh, gloom if you can't get a hold of those enemies lower the range of your gloom and find a, a room like this and stay in it and you're gonna be fine all right because the more enemies in your gloom the more energy will drain and you don't want that all right you don't want that you want to kill every enemy okay every enemy inside your gloom as fast as uh, possible it's slowed it's it's ready okay and you all you have to do is kill that enemy all right simple as uh, that so there is enemies here look at them they all of them was draining my energy and i didn't see them because there was upstairs okay so you need to pay attention to that okay just keep an eye on the mini map and just kill everything on your uh, way keep gloom active at all in all the time all the time you have a gloom has to be active all the time okay nourish as well okay that's your uh, main uh, ability so uh, gloom will be slowing enemies nourish will do the viral uh, for you okay and we'll cc those enemies for you and will give you health and damage and all the stuff that you really love about uh, nourish first ability will give you the crit and will cast your shadows to give the uh, death the death uh, effect the death harvest okay you don't need the fourth ability for your shadow to do that okay you, you don't need that okay but really guys keep attention i don't want someone coming back in the comment you say this build is energy hungry this build is energy listen i already explained everything you need to know so you need to keep moving you need to keep moving and killing those enemies don't stand still if you want to stand still lower the range if you want to stand let's say in a room like this okay 
if you want to stand in a room like this you need to to learn about your gloom how far it can go so i just go here and look i know my gloom will be right there you see where they're just getting slowed you see that check how much energy i'm draining now look at this look at this boom i will send my shadow and i will just kill them so i know where my gloom stops okay boom i will just like right there boom now standing now they are not getting the way i want though i want them the moment they open that door they are gloomed okay so sitting right here you can go level cap just right here you don't need to go anywhere okay you can just stand still here and go to level cap without a problem cast the first ability to the door enemies will be dead within a second okay and don't worry about taco lights he will be one shot no problemo okay don't worry about him look at this damages beyond your imagination okay here is our acolyte boom 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 he's gonna be dying no uh a problemo okay he drained us uh, some energy okay let me just go ahead get some energy kill those enemies bada bim bada boom come on come on he's he's just uh playing uh, rolling guard on us come on Okay, we're just gonna wait for tournament. Uh, in normal case, I will just like, uh, you know, um, lock him down with Magus Lockdown, but it's okay. We'll make a special event for him today. Anyway, so all you have to do is just sit here and kill every enemy on the map. As I mentioned, always be sure that the map, the, the map, you need to read the map, okay? So there is nothing behind me, so enemies can spawn here still, but the gloom is behind me. In the right, there is no rooms. In the left, there is no rooms. The only way enemies can come in is the uh, front okay so i keep some distance behind for gloom and i keep the gloom edge just about the door just above the door right there so every enemies come from that door will be uh, dead now remember having gloom on you will do life steal even if you shield gate and your shield is depleted your life steal will help you out uh, and you're gonna be uh, fine okay all right let's uh, go baby uh, extraction and here we are in the extraction baby and i'm going to show you all the stuff that we used for example the okokur that i used uh, this is the build for it all right the river power uh, okokur uh, uh, akri cold critical chance critical damage sentient charge this is so freaking good augment each target eliminated refills 20 percent of okokur's magazine statue chance and critical chance are increased by 60 percent for each tendril uh, active uh, everything else is uh, uh, you already know about it all right it's uh, common in the game okay now uh, let's go to my nautilus i will make videos about this but this is the build this is the build for it and this is my voclock okay to increase the critical chance and having the vigilante uh, set all right um by this i think i covered everything about savagoth i really hope i know this will this video is a bit long but if you are interested on in making savagoth it's actually worth it understanding everything about savagoth and making the best and broken build uh for it i want to say guys thank you so much for watching if you want to see more of this channel don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button and let me know in the comments below what you think about this video and about savagoth in general and join our discord the link on the description peace and love